Hi everyone, it's Kiri here for Bramble Fox and for my latest layout I'm using a couple of new sets from the shop. I have the Woof set and the um, Essential Stars set in the spring colours. Um, I've pulled out um, a collection from Bella Boulevard, Tiny Tots 2.0 and I have some very cute photos of our friend's dog. I don't actually, we don't actually have any pets um, but um, we do have our friend's dog who is lovely and we do love having cuddles with him when we see him. He's, he's a cockapoo and his name is Oz and he is very, very adorable. Anyway, okay, I am just pulling out, I've picked four different papers here, well five actually, but I picked four that are sort of um, colours and then the stripes. So I've got the yellow, the lime green, the navy and the teal and then I'm just really cutting them up into um, vertical strips that I'm going to use as layers behind my photo and I do like adding lots of layers behind my photos, it's often something I do on well, I do it in quite a lot of my layouts. Um, so, yeah, it just really just adds a bit more sort of, I guess, dimension to the layout. So here we go. I've cut them all down. I've distressed all the edges, layered them up and stuck them together. And now I'm going to stick them down to my background. And I have this sort of, it's a grid background, white with like a, um, a teal um, grid going over it. So just, it's so, it keeps it from being not completely plain white, which I rather liked. So I am mounting the two photos and I've done this like little photo strip, film strip with four different photos of Oz on it. And then I've got that one slightly larger one. He's very cute looking in that larger photo. And I'm just mounting them onto this striped pattern paper and I'm just picking out the sort of yellows, um, greens and the blues to match the um, background papers that I've already used. I'm just um, cutting it out with a uh, narrow border and then I will distress the edges, of course, and then I can get that, um, get the photos stuck down and move on to the fun part, which is adding all the different bits and, pe bits and pieces, the embellishments. Okay, so with my photos, I'm just adding foam pads to the top of them um, and then I'll keep the bottoms flat. I tend to do that on most of my um, layouts because I find um, I've got the flutter edge for layering embellishments over it and on the top edge I can tuck elements behind it so yeah okay so just placing those now I also cut some other strips some narrow strips you can see over on the left there because when I placed this down on um, my background I wasn't sure it was it just needed something else to sort of ground it on the other side so I'm basically mirroring the strips that I've cut on the right side and I'm adding them to the left in the same order so just get the um get those four laid down I'm not adding any of the striped ones to this piece just sticking to the four colors and then I'll add a small embellishment cluster over there and that effectively also when you you'll see when I get my embellishments on it gives me that um sort of three embellishment clusters because I'll have one below the photos one above and then the one over on the left and that's very much that rule of three in design so you have three points on your layout that basically draws the eye in so yeah so it's, a, it's one of those design principles Okay, for the woof, so you've got the woof, you have the white letters that go inside and then you have four coloured letters as well. And I was I sort of decided I was going to layer up the white parts of the woof and then I was going to use the coloured letters down the side on the um, near the photos. But I do change my mind slightly. So I'm just figuring out which colour to, to mount the white on because otherwise it just wasn't going to show up quite so strongly on because I'm using a white background. So I've decided on the navy. I did look at the lime, but I'm going with the navy. That definitely worked well. And then I'll leave that just to dry and then I'll trim that around. Now I'm just pulling in some of the embellishments. I'm just sort of picking out different pieces that sort of coordinated um, from the Tiny Tots collection. So I've got a tag, I've got a little notebook piece, I've got some flowers, I've got that very cute little dog and, and then I've got some words. I've got handsome, adorbs, I've got a little tab there and I've also... What else have I got? Now, I don't use the little frame, actually. Oh, I've got the yellow, the long yellow banner that says, I just want to play all day, which I thought was perfect. Go with. 
the doggy photos um, okay so I've just added some staples to the little tab because I've added the adorbs over the top of that um, and typically it's run out just as I was trying to finish it so um, yeah and then I'm just going to pop that into the right side there just over the edge of the photo and then I've got a little orange flower so just playing around with where everything else is going to go um, I've got the flower clusters I know I'm going to go down with a cluster underneath and then um, and then like you, like always, I've got my photos stuck down and deciding I need to tuck something behind them. So I've got the two pieces. I've got the note page in the white and the sort of pale blue, but I go with the pale blue in the end. Distressing the edges of the tag and I will add some ribbon um, through that and just tie it with some twine. Okay, so woof is now ready to go. I'm just going to trim around the edges of that and then I'll just use my small craft knife to just cut into those small areas around the letters. Um, it's pretty easy to do. And it's a good idea when you've got sort of open letters like this, adding a background to it works really, really well. You can see here. And then I've got my white letters, which I was going, I'm, I am layering up. I did sort of move them underneath and actually that looked quite good as well. And I'm now, oh, you know, should I have done that? But actually I, I like how I've layered it. I've got that dimension. It's like the wolf wolf um, piece. And then, um, yeah, so I'm playing around here. You can see there, I think I do it. Yeah, wolf wolf, but I do layer it. So that's, that's fine. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to, uh, where are we? Oh, uh, yes, moved on. Now I can stick my um, letters down. So I am using glossy accents to stick the um, perspectives onto the perspectives because that'll give me a nice strong hold. And then I can um, just give that a moment to dry and then I can get that stuck down onto the layout. And then I can move, I can move on to certainly getting the embellishments um, stuck down now. So I'm going down the side here with the handsome. And then I've gone with the two O's, which are the little paw prints. So I've got one in the lime and I've got one in the sort of tearly blue. And I decided to just use those in the end. And I don't use the W and the F. Oh, there's the tag. I told you that I just added some ribbon through and tied around it with twine. So they're getting stuck down behind the photos. Um, yes, yeah, so I've just used the two paw prints, the two O's from the woof, instead of the the um, the whole word. I, it just didn't work for me down on the right there. So, um, yeah, I'm just going with that. So playing around here with how I'm going to get things stuck down. And finally, I make a decision and I can get things working. I sort of I sort of continue on with that uh, vertical design, uh, vertical design going down um, underneath the photos. So keep the flowers sort of like cascading down. With the banner, I've just curved it. So I've stuck it just at the end. So I've got that sort of lift on it. And then um, get those flowers. And I, yeah, I'm sort of almost done. But there is something I'd forgotten that I did when I after, when I came off camera. So I found the um essential stars in the spring in the spring colors they were tucked under something and I'd completely forgotten about the stars so I do add some of the perspective stars after and you'll see that in the close-ups and I do also add a few extra little epoxy embellishments and puffy stickers from the um Bella Boulevard collection they get added in afterwards ah oh I did forget these that's right I did go into my stash and pulled out sort of I was looking for enamel dots or something like that and I have some tiny little um, stars uh, stars that I add on now. But, of course, I did forget I had the other stars that I was also going to add on as well. So you'll see that anyway in a moment. So, um, yeah, just adding these tiny little st stars in the coordinating colours as well to the layout. And then it's pretty much done. Um, I do add some journaling, which will go underneath the woof. And you will see that um, in the close-up, which is coming up very, very shortly. There we go. Okay, here's the final layout where you'll see those extra pieces that I did add in afterwards. And here's some of the close-ups, um, that very cute wolf and those very cute paws as well. And then, of course, the essential stars. I hope you've enjoyed watching the process video. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in my next layout. Bye for now.